actually, we still don't know exactly where the blockchain technology will go, right? But I believe to have a good guess. However, many people are still against it and say it's all nonsense and cryptocurrency will go to zero and Bitcoin will go to zero and so on. But I have to say, such disruptive technologies are not new. We had similar situations in the past. Let me tell you an example. One of my oldest clients, a very old family business, uh, they experienced the last industrial revolution. His family produced shock absorbers for horse-drawn carriages. Their transportation business with horses was leading at that time. It was a huge lobby. Then the automobile came and he told me in a very short time, horse-drawn carriages just vanished from the streets. It was a very disruptive time for the industry, but the horse lobby still said cars will not stay. They will disappear as fast as they came and they tried everything to get rid of the cars. They even established laws against it that made it really difficult to sustain for the car producers like the flagman. By law, each car had to have three personnel, one driver, one mechanic and one flagman who was walking in front of the car to warn everybody and avoid accidents. As we know, it was not possible to stop such innovation like it never was in history. For the company of my client, this time was a big problem, but his family business made it. They made the transition within the Industrial Revolution because they invented the first shock absorbers for trucks. Most of the leading companies before the Industrial Revolution, however, didn't make it. If I ask you, tell me 10 companies with an age of 100 or 150 years old, it will be pretty difficult for you to even tell me one. But if I ask you to let me know a global leading company aged 10 or 20 years, most of you would say Amazon, Google, Facebook, etc. And in exactly such companies I invest, but in the early stages, when still everybody says it's all nonsense and it will go to zero, and even if a company goes up, they will say it goes to zero. This is one of my, one of my indicators to invest, because in my opinion, the profit goes to the brave. Agriculture is one of the biggest industries in the world with enormous turnovers. On one side, we have the global fertilizer producers like Sabic, for example, in Saudi Arabia or BSF in Europe. On the other hand, we have global food producers like Cargill and we have uh, huge farming companies like in Russia, farmers with over 1 million hectares under management and we have also tens of thousands of small farms. If we talk about a connection or collaboration between agriculture and the blockchain industry, there is a lot of work going on in the background. For example, the revolution of supply chain management in agriculture, trustless trace and tracking systems in agriculture, payment methods with smart contracts, carbon credit systems, etc. As an example, a company where I'm invested, it's called VeChain, a Chinese company who is able to track and trace pretty much any good in the world with the new blockchain technology. Like potatoes, new technologies make it possible to track each potato from the farmer all the way to the consumer. New laser technologies make it possible to laser a chip on each potato to have measure, uh, measures on temperature or bacteria and virus content of the product. It's a complete data visibility, a huge process that is, that is part of the blockchain technology. Our world will become completely data driven. We established, for example, a company called Ultimate Farming Technology that is focusing on technologies which, in my opinion, will lead agriculture in the future. What is really happening now, if we monitor the World Economic Forum with its leader, Klaus Schwab, who is talking about the Great Reset and explains in detail how old technologies will be disrupted by new, faster, cheaper and sustainable technologies. In such times, Many will lose their jobs and businesses, but we also have big winners in such times. The key in such times is information, knowledge and speed. This is especially the next years, the next 10 years, between 2020 and 2030. Things will happen that we cannot even imagine. It will, it will be insane for many people. Our financial system, like we know, will disappear and be replaced. Agriculture will go into a very disruptive but sustainable future. We will face dramatic changes in society, but hopefully we will go into a next level of consciousness and into a sustainable future.